Right, the Falcon T92. Got this thing the Thursday before the making of this video, so almost a week now. Uh, lately, I've been running uh, optics, vents, and rammer, no stabilizer, because it's got good gun handling. It does have a 0.38 accuracy, though, so that does kind of mess with you sometimes. And with it being a 76 at 175 pen, the bouncing is quite real when it normally wouldn't, especially with those pesky Russians. But I had just hit 100 battles prior to this one, so I threw some food on. Because without food, you got a 41.8 view range and about like a 25, 2600 DPM. So I'm just cycling my ammo now. Just seeing the new reload. 3.4 seconds. And normally it's like 3.75. Out spot the Vanguard. Just because I've got food on. It actually sh shoves my view range over 500 meters. And that DPM goes up to like 26, 27 as opposed to the 25, 26. That doesn't really make much of a difference. But. The food will also help with the gun dispersion. Now this uh, light tank's going out. Like a traditional light tank player, the yellow scout, he's gonna die soon. Um, but the food, the the dispersion drops to like a 0 .37, 0 .36, which is a little bit more manageable in my opinion. You won't really notice too much, but sometimes. You don't really have the uh, the wild shots that you would normally have. So now I am just passive scouting. Trying to spot like a real light tank. Not like that Vanguard. And I actually get eight spots out of it after he already yellowed across over there too. So I'm just putting some shots in. I can't do the play by play per shot because at 3.4 second reload it's <laughs> kind of hard to do that. So we put a few in, we get 400 spotting out of it so far. Just playing a passive using the bushes to stay in lit. That tiger can probably just barely see my turret on that ridge, so that's why I'm getting lit. Try to put one into him real quick. The uh, Gornich is looking at me, I did not realize that at this time, but as soon as he shoots me, like right there, I'll go ahead and uh, realize my mistake. Now he's still looking at me, which is fine, because if you let go of the joystick and then do a hard turn, it's just like e-braking. Or using, yeah, using your e-brake. Little, uh, little pro tip for you, because it does have quite bad mobility. But now, since he wanted to shoot me, I'm gonna shoot his R2-T2. <clears throat> Excuse me, R2-D2. A few times, and make him regret life decisions. Eventually, there's that 175 pen at a small caliber for you. Now watch this. This Tiger 1 hit the Amorak. Set him on fire. Dead. At the time, I thought I already hit him or something. So keep that kill in mind later on. That's There's something interesting I found. So now I'm going in, uh, they've already gone up the hill, and it's just the lights over here. Now I'm not going to go in because I'm not a yellow light tank player. I'm going to try and shoot this vanguard. First shot goes a little wild, no big deal, it happens to every gun. Get a critical on him, put another one in for a nice 160 roll, because uh, 150 is your average. 
if you can shoot better than me, then you can probably hit that shot quite easily. Now, I think this guy just dumped his clip, so I'm going to go out to him. But that tiger's right there, so I decide not to make that mistake. Master's mean is medium over here, the patent KR. He's focused on the lights. Meanwhile, I'm going to go around, since the lights are disengaging right now. Probably thinking about going for Artie. And I'm going to work over this Tiger 131. First shot, way outside the reticle. That was definitely a server issue. <coughs> Excuse me. So now I'm just going to play around with this Tiger a little bit. Such a pretty kitty. Try and track him. Don't do it. Try and miss a building. Don't do that. But with my good mob acceleration, I should say, I'm able to avoid that shot. And then I'm back for more. Looks like he's uh, trying to run away. There's another shot that goes outside the circle. Could have been the angle I was shooting at versus the direction he was driving. Not sure. But it happened. No big deal. I got this. Now we're just playing around with the, t with the little kitty cat. He doesn't really seem to like it, though. There's another ammo rack. And now pause for suspense. There we go. All right. Now it's just one of the lights that was over by Artie and the prototype, which I saw earlier on the hill. So I'm going to head over to the mediums to help spot for them. And he gets lit up on top. Now, uh, based on his position, I know he's shooting that medium over on E0. Possibly the heavy if the heavy is lit. So I'm going to get behind him for a little surprise prostate exam. As soon as I come up, he's going to spot me just barely over those rocks. Put a quick shot into him. His barrel is turning around, so I know he's looking at me. So I'm going to pretend like I'm running away. There's that bad traverse for you. Now watch the map as I'm, as I'm driving right here, and I notice he's going south. So I know he's not looking at me anymore. So then I go back. Now I'm going to listen at this point for the shots. He fired one, there's two, and there's three. He's now on reload, perfect timing. All right, hello, buddy. Now here's the low caliber coming into play here. Didn't track him the first time, only damaged it. Then I tracked him. Now I have to damage it again. Try and go for the underplate, but I aim badly. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we're just gonna farm him a bit, he's on reload. He's gonna try and reverse ram me, but I hit his engine, so it won't do any damage. And then 120 hit points, nope. Still not a one shot, because he's American. We both have high levels of democracy, so we can't get the one shot kill on each other, no big deal. And then the light tank dies, leaving me at 4100 damage, 1800 assist and three kills which nets you using standard ammo only a hundred and fifty thousand silver in one battle now look at those medals I got fire and ammo rack remember that tiger yeah also get the high caliber keep that tiger in mind you'll see what I'm getting at here in a second 48 shots fired out of 60, 37 hits, 26 pens, not bad. The Tiger didn't get the fuel tank logo in red, even though I set him on fire, which blew up his ammo rack. Yeah, uh, possibly a game bug right there, not sure, but his ammo rack definitely exploded or blew up however you say it, from the fire, which I've never had happen to my knowledge in game. So that's a pretty cool little fun fact. Hit the ammo rack to make it orange, set them on fire, kablooey. I'm going to go ahead and take you into my garage to show you 
the setup that I have. If you want me to do a full review, just let me know in the comments. I'll put one together for you. Just to show you the loadout I got, uh, it's just one of my best crews. I swapped a couple skills out. I do not have snapshot on this. I did add off-road driving and clutch braking to it just to help with the traverse while you're driving. It does help, but not a whole lot. Your camera rating holds up great until you fire. Uh, next week I'll have another video where I kind of go into that on stream. But this is the Falcon T92. I like it. I really like it. It's it's not going to carry very often. It's a little team dependent, but it does have the ability to carry if you're good enough in it. Mainly because of the alpha damage, but with the reload, you know... You miss a shot, it's no big deal, kind of thing. But you've only got a 9,000 damage capacity, uh, not including MRX, the fires, and all that. <coughs> Excuse me. Possibly a little cold going on here. So, for the plus one, minus one matchmaking that we had for this week, uh, I did 45 rounds of standard, 15 heat. Probably going to stick to running a fire extinguisher instead of the food. I just wanted to try out the food on this. It works pretty well. But when the plus two minus two comes back, I'll probably jump up to about 20 or 25 heat rounds. Because mouse and Jack Panzer U100, all those heavily armored tanks. So yeah, I enjoy it very much. I am now at uh, 185 battles in it. I've got one mark. Been playing nights because I have to work nights this coming up week uh, that we're on right now. And it's been very frustrating with uh, the severe drop in player skill as opposed to daytime. It's, it's <laughs> very frustrating. I can't really describe it any other way. But anyways... I'm rambling at this point. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.